Hi everyone, this is Kathy with McCrafty Studio. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. I just have a quick update. Um, I haven't done a floss tube for a few weeks now. I've been pretty busy with a lot going on. There's been a lot of family stuff and I'm, as I said in one of my previous videos, I'm getting ready to move, which is still the case. And I just wanted to stop by and say, hey, um, I actually had a start and a, uh, a completed stitch and I'll uh, be showing you that in here in a couple of minutes. Um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and just get started with the, I guess I'll start with my, my full finishes, not my fully finished projects, but my fully stitched projects. So I'm very excited. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is Flea Market Baskets. It's by Lori Holtz. Uh, it's so Emma from the Fat Quarter Shop. And I finished this. I didn't finish it in March, like I had said in a previous video. I think that's what I had said. But anyway, I did get it finished here in 2024. And there it is. I stitched this on a 25 count cloud Lugana. And it was just with the called for colors. And I'm looking forward to fully finishing that project. And my next project, market of course has happened. It's uh, now June and market happened, I think in March, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, uh, of course I caught the bug like everyone else did and I purchased a few things. As I was saying, I purchased a few things from market. Um, I know of some of these things everybody has seen before, but I was anxious to get this started. I had a finish in mind for this, uh, and then I ended up changing it uh, a little bit. But it is Home Sweet Home by Stitching with the Housewives. Yeah, let me take the pattern out of the plastic here. This is uh, one of Priscilla Blaine's market releases, I believe. Now, I stitched mine on a 28 count Monaco. This hasn't been ironed. And I was had a different finish in mind, so I used DMC uh, for the colors, and I also tried Anchor Black. I believe it's 304 is the black color for Anchor. I've never stitched with Anchor before, and I wanted to give it a try. Um, and I used a late, I think, sorry, I'm looking at my notes here, uh, DMC 347 for the hearts, uh, 3364 for the green, and then DMC 597 for the blue, but turned out really, really cool, I think. And so I'll be, that was a start and a finish um, since my last video, which I'm pretty pleased with. And then I hopefully we'll have that fully finished. Um, I'll spend a day. I have um, a couple other uh, projects that I need to finish and hopefully I can spend the day doing that. So, um, you know, you kind of have to be in the mood to fully finish items. So there's that. Um, I think in one of my previous videos, I had mentioned that uh, my parents uh, had passed away and I found a stitch from my mom. I remember this being in our house from when I was a child. So I would say oh, early 70s, um, mid, yeah, early to mid 70s. This was always in her home and she, and it was a, a stamped embroidery kit and she, I, I found it and this is it. It's just the serenity prayer. I cleaned it up. It was framed and I am going to make a pillow out of this. But anyway, and she did a great job with the satin stitches. And like I said, it is a stamped cross stitch kit. And I want to pause right here for a second. I'm going to get um, a product that I use just to come back. Um, the uh, piece that I found, it was framed. And of course it was back, like I said, 
early to mid 70s and it wasn't professionally framed or anything and it had been wrapped around a piece of cardboard it was under glass and all of the things and so um, you can kind of see the yellowing like where it had been wrapped about around um, the picture but um, but that part is going to be cut off because I'm going to be making a pillow out of it but I wanted to tell you about this product I think I can't remember what floss tuber I saw it on, but this is amazing because the yellowing and um, the, the yellowing that had occurred around the edges, especially when it was wrapped around the cardboard, was pretty significant. And uh, that product worked amazingly. I mean, it just worked amazingly. And it didn't fade the colors or anything. Of course, I doubt that these threads were... Um, you know, over dyed or anything like that. Cause again, it was in the early seventies and they were color fast. There were, there wasn't any thread bleeding or anything like that when I washed it out, but it's, uh, yeah, it's a great product. And I just wanted to share that because yeah. So if anybody runs across a vintage stitch or something along those lines and needs to clean it up a little bit, um, I would recommend that product. So anyway, just wanted to share that. Um, I had another finish. Now I decided um, in addition to my starts and things, I wanted to go ahead and work on some of my other projects and try to get those taken care of. Um, this uh, pattern, Bloom Where You're Planted, it's from a few years ago, I think 2020 or 2021, I'm not really sure on the date. Um, I was going to do this as a picture and do it vertically, but I've since decided because I've gone, like I said, I'm in the process of moving and I have decided that I want to save some of my wall space and things for other stitches and other photos, etc. But I did finish the boot, the little rain boot that was on the the first project or the first square rather and um i'm gonna go ahead and make these small pillows once i get them done but here is the rain the rain boot the rain shoe however you want to it's very cute and i stitched this on 28 count uh white monaco and it's with a call for colors and then i had a start on um, the second one which is the b um, there's my start and hopefully by the next uh, video I will have a finish for the B and so I'm pretty excited about that hmm. and I'm back I got a little distracted there I had pulled out the needle with the thread and I was looking for it because it kind of got uh, jumbled up with all of my remaining threads and so uh, another project I had worked on, it is Calvin and Clyde. It's by Stitching with the Housewives. And like I said, I'm trying to incorporate some other previous uh, whips to get those completed. And this is being stitched on a fabric flare, a 32 count, uh, I think, smoky dyed effect. And here's my progress on that. So he's coming along, so hopefully I can get that done before fall. And this stitch is from Dirty Annie's. It is Soup of the Day Whiskey with Ice Cube Croutons. And I'm stitching this on the 28 count. Um, picture this plus, I believe, smoke, no, shadow. It's a 28 count Lugana uh, colorway shadow from Picture This Plus. And I'm using, um, let's see, the Gentle Art Chalk, which I really, I love that white, especially when you're doing kind of like, you know, chalk, chalky type stitches. And I've gotten a few of the words of the... <laughs> So that's my progress with that one. And I stitched on my baskets and butterflies. 
It's from Hello's Hello from Liz Matthews. I can't even talk. Hello from Liz Matthews. And I am stitching mine on a 40 count, I think it's just white. It's either antique white or white linen. Um, and I'm using, I think, Mediterranean Sea by Gentle Arts. And this is my progress that I've made on that one. And I am working on this one by Modern Fold Embroidery, uh, Read Scene Skyward. And I am stitching mine on a 36 count, I think, Silver Moon linen. And I'm using silky threads. And let me fold this up here. This is turning out really great. And there's my additional progress. Trying to get that. But um, I'm using a black and then a variegated green color. It's turning out really cool. And I started another this wasn't part of my uh, 24 and 24 starts. I'm going to have more than 24 starts this year. Um, but it's a uh, farmhouse by Stitching with the Housewives. And I'm stitching mine. It's either on an 18 or 20 count black Ada. And... Here is my minimal start there. It'll be on the right side. The same flowers in the farmhouse. And I've had a, a couple other starts. Um, I started, I'm part of the Stitch Quarterly Club for Sayings of the Season with uh, Stitching with the Housewives and I get it through a fat quarter shop. And I started summer And it is on 28 count uh, black Monaco. I'm removing my extra threads here. And this is a very minimal start. It's just the sunflower up in the corner. And actually the finishing piece that was for that was, um, I found it on sale um, at my local Hobby Lobby. So. If you are doing this club and want to finish it similar uh, to uh, stitching with the housewives, uh, definitely stop by Hobby Lobby and hopefully it'll be there. But I, um, it was normally I think twenty or nineteen ninety nine, and I picked it up for four ninety nine. And then my next start, this is another market release. It was uh, Fleur the Alphabets uh, by JBW Designs. And um, this that was a market release. And I'm stitching this on, I think, what is it? Antique Lace by Seraphim Fabrics. It's 36 count. And I changed the colors up a little bit. I I'm kind of, I don't know, I love blues. It's Blue is one of my favorite colors. But I was in um, a cross-stitch shop and these two colors I just felt like would go well together for this particular alphabet, especially with this color of linen. But I'm using Classic Color Works Calico Kitten or Calico Kitty, Calico Kitty, and then Manor Red for my contrasting color. And this is a beautiful linen by Seraphim. And I got the A done and the O. I feel like it's kind of shadowy. I tried to get more light in here, but it doesn't seem to be helping. But that's that's my start. And this start that I'm starting was one of my uh, 24 and 24 starts, and it's every opening flower. 
And I am stitching this on a 36 count platinum fabric. And I'm just using the called for colors. Trying to get all these threads. And I'm doing it one over two. And there's my, my start. And I'm back. Um, my next uh, start, this is actually um, one of my 24 starts in 2024. And it's the Blue Work Pairs by Annie B's Full Cart. And I'm stitching this on a 36 count winter moon, I believe. And this is the dangling thread from the serger. Um, and that's my start. Hopefully, um, that'll be finished by the time I show another plus two. And I have, I just purchased the new set that came out at market. And I think it's green pairs. I'm not, I can't remember. I guess when we get there, I'll know. And then, um, but I'm using the called for, it was a dinky dye silk, I think Persian jade or Persian blue, I can't remember. And then this start, uh, this is Roses for Ruby. This I started um, in honor of my grandmother's 99th birthday. And um, she has since passed away. Um, but I, I started this. I'm using all the called for uh, silks. It's from the Scarlet House. And I think it's just one cotton. I think it's Schoolhouse Red. But I am stitching this on um, gosh, what am I stitching this on? I was trying to find the label for this. Um, the silks and things were misplaced. And so it had the name of the linen. I don't think it's anything hand dyed. I think it's just um, just a just a regular linen. But anyway, here is my start. And this is stitching out beautifully. Uh, I love I love silks. So, um, but anyway, that is the the upper left corner. I found the linen. It's 36 count antique ivory linen. It's a, a Zweigart based linen. So it's not an over dyed linen or anything, but the silks um, and the color selection for the threads are just beautiful on the antique ivory. Now this next portion is haul. I know they say a lot of people don't like the haul portion, but I I love the haul portion because I don't live next to an LNS and seeing everybody's, um, what they get and, um, you know, linen choices and patterns and things. It's, uh, I just, I kind of like seeing that, but if this portion is not for you, I thank you for stopping by and, um, I'll see you next time. And so the haul portion of this is, um, gonna be kind of fun. Um, I'm got a couple other project bags. These are from Fat Quarter Shop. These are um, the three newer colors. And right now, it the project bags by It's So Emma are on sale at Fat Quarter Shop. So this is the jade color, the rose color. And then corn silk. And I don't really like these bags. They're good size. Um, some additional haul because I love fall and um, some of those things. So I purchased uh, the Quilting Scarecrow. It's from Lori Holt. And uh, she also has a snowman that's going to be coming out. Um, I don't know when, but uh, it's really cute as well. Along with, a, I think, a sampler stitch. And that I got from Fat Quarter Shop. And I got a pattern by Telen Emblem. I was inspired by uh, Lori from Mischief, 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 I can't even, 
can't talk. I don't know why. Every time I come in here, I can never seem to talk. Mischievous stitches. <laughs> anyway, um, but here is a cardinal. It's, um, it's, it just has a number uh, on it, 119. Oh, it's called Birdie and Berries Northern Car Cardinal. And then uh, this next one called Birdie and Basket Sampler Winterberry. And I, I just think it's really a cool pattern, but I've never stitched um, Tell an Emblem. I, I've never stitched any of her patterns. Um, this is part of my market haul. Now I didn't get all of this at the same time. It's been a few weeks since I have filmed a floss tube. So, um, I've picked up different things here and there. Um, but anyway, uh, Far Better Things by Sweet Wing Studio. And this is by the Artful Offerings. It's Flower Garden Sampler. Oops, sorry. Wrong way. This looks really cool. And then I picked up Peacock by Cartage Garden, Cartage Garden Samplings. I love peacocks and I'm looking forward to finishing that. That's one of my wish. I wish I could find the Peacock Pin Keep by Blackbird Designs. I see it every so often on eBay or, you know, it's for sale, but it's um, kind of pricey actually. But I'm hoping maybe they will re-release that. Um, the next one, now, I know a lot of people love this. I love the word series by Stitching with the Housewives, but Cross Stitcher. So I have a really cool finish I have in mind for this. And so this will probably be one that I will uh, be starting and finishing, hopefully before the next, not fully finished, but finish stitching before my next floss too, because um, I really love the word series. And yeah, so looking forward to that. And then, as I mentioned, Spring Green Pears. Uh, this was a market release. Um, this is by Annie B's Folk Art. And she, I think this is the fourth one. Anyway, the fourth one uh, for the pears. And um, I'm looking forward to doing those. And this um, is a market release by Hello from Liz Matthews. It's Remember Me Sampler and Tree. I'm gonna do the sampler. This right here. And um, yeah, it's, I don't know. Um, I'm kind of doing it in remembrance of my mother and kind of my grandmother. I have a finish in mind for it and a specific area in my house that I'm gonna put it in. But I did pick up the uh, fabric, which is just uh, platinum. It's a 36 count Zweigart platinum. And then the, the silks, um, I guess I could show you. I did change out a few of the silks. She calls for MPI silks. I did do a few MPI silks, but um, I switched out some of the colors for Gloriana because they're over dyed and give it a little bit more variegation on um, some of that, but I can, uh, once I get that started and finished, I can go over my conversion if anyone's interested in that. And then I'm lining these up beautifully here. But those are the colors. They're just beautiful autumnal um, colors. So I'm doing that. Um, that's one of my projects, one of my many projects. And I love green. Uh, green and blue are probably my favorite colors. I mean, I love all colors, honestly. I have all colors in my house. But when um, Ink Circles came out with Jolly Green, I just thought that, that was so cool. So this was a purchase that I picked up from Market. And it's just lovely. And I picked up uh, the threads, of course. It's from, uh, it's the called for threads from Threadworks. Um, there's four different uh, shades and what I'm going to be doing is stitching mine on a 40 count morning dove by lakeside 
and I just looking at this it just makes my heart sing so I'm gonna try to hold these up but that's hopefully it's kind of true to color but it, they're just beautiful just gorgeous and then I watched um, Floss Bustling Floss Bossing Cousins and they're starting to stitch along for um, I think it's starting in July July 1st now I um, this is one of my 24 starts in 2024 and it is um, the summer autumn winter um, by Blackbird Designs and I'm gonna look for this is the, the picture I'll be doing the full finish or stitching the three charts together to make that finish I don't know if it's yeah it's framed I thought maybe it was a like in a tray or something but it, it's not anyway um so that starts on July 1st and I will be pinning my progress and things like that on uh, Instagram and things and I will have to put down in the notes the hashtag that uh, the floss bussing cousins are using and I've already picked out my materials. I'm using, I think, Winter Moon. Seems to be my go-to. Winter Moon and um, Antique. Yeah, it's Winter Moon. So 36 count Winter Moon and then just the called for. I might do some switches out or switching out, but um, it's, you know, I, I just thought I would leave it as, uh, as called for. Uh, depending on how it turns out but I am using winter moon 36 count with called for colors so that is what I will be working on and starting those are my plans anyway um, it may get started a little bit before July 1st I don't know because the goal uh, for that is to be completed uh, by the end of the year so I have a lot of stitching uh, to do so I hope everyone um, is uh, enjoying their gonna you know enjoying their summer the beginning of it and all of the um, cross stitch retreats and things are starting to go on and I'm seeing different videos um, from StitchCon to uh, a, a few others and anyway thank you all for stopping by I appreciate you please like and subscribe and um, I'll see you next time bye.